Recently, I was sent a box of vintage packs from a viewer named Jackson. Jackson challenged me to a pack battle and with stakes. The challenge was simple. He wins, I owe him a free giveaway. If I won, he had to send me a 2003 Blue Eyes White Dragon 10 to open on camera. Here's what happened. Spirit of the Pot agreed. And a dark magician of chaos, let's go! I told you, you're not gonna win, but I'm gonna pull you a chaos monster. I may have been talking about the other chaos monsters, but hey, this is the third one. For some reason, we always have great luck with Dark Magician of Chaos, and not only that, it's an IOC-EN version, which you do not see those very often. That is really cool. And a Dark Magician Girl! We did it! Let's go! Where did he get a loose hobby back? No way! We've done it again in the span of a month! That is impossible! Oh my gosh! Today, Jackson has fulfilled his end of the bargain, so we get to open a tin. All right, guys, here is the 2003 Blue Eyes 10. I'm excited to open this up, see if we can maybe get a minty promo. I'm just going to not move that 10 around, you know, too much because it can sometimes damage the promos. We have a giveaway for this video. I'll be giving away a sealed structure deck, Legend of the Crystal Beast, like Legend of Blue Eyes, but Crystal Beast. Like the video, be subscribed, turn on notifications, and let me know in the comments. What are we gonna pull? Also, I wanna mention quickly, do not reply to anyone in the comments trying to do a giveaway. I need to get back on this because I'm getting more messages from people saying, hey, is this you? Is this you trying to give me a giveaway that paid $200 for shipping? No, it is not. I will never charge you for shipping. I will never reply to you in the comments saying that you want a giveaway. I will reply to you in the comments sometimes, but it's not gonna be from that Telegram account trying to get you to pay money for a giveaway. Also, because Jackson has sent us some really awesome openings, this bounty that I had against him, he, if he won, I was going to give him these. I'm going to be giving him these anyway. So that's just going to be a little bonus for Jackson when he's watching this. Hopefully he's excited about that. Let's open up this tin for him and hopefully we'll pull him some good stuff. But either way, he is going to get the BLS and the CED, which is pretty cool. So this is a really expensive tin that we're opening up right now. And I know that's pretty, uh, pretty pricey for him to like even let us open this. You know, I mean, almost no matter what we pull, we're probably not going to make his money back. So I want to give him that uh, those two cards there for uh, having two awesome openings because the last one was one of the coolest openings on my channel. It was really, really fun. Blue Eyes White Dragon. Hopefully this is in great condition. I doubt it, but we'll have to just believe, okay? Here we go. We're going to be as careful as possible. How's the back look? Oh. Oh, do we have a nice one? Yo, there is a slight blemish. Okay, that came off. It's literally that. This is the cleanest 2003 promo I've ever seen. What if it was a summon skull again? <laughs> Imagine. Okay, that is amazing. This blue eyes looks awesome, Jackson. So this is a, I mean, you picked the right 10 to open up, it seems. The centering is great on this card. Does this have a PSA 10 chance? I mean, that is it. Those two little dots right there. Wow, check the corners. We might have a PSA 10 caliber. I mean, the corners are a little bit wonky at the bottom, but they're not bad. This actually, I think, is a PSA 10 caliber blue eyes. That is amazing. That looks awesome. I will be packing that one up very carefully. Hopefully, he gets that one super nice. If you guys haven't seen any of my other 2003 openings, they usually rub across stuff like this. There are some little spots where it could, like, cut the card. Somehow, this card did not move, apparently, because none of that... I can feel it when I'm, uh, like, rubbing my finger across it. It feels like it would scratch the card, and that one somehow did not get scratched, which is amazing. All right, Labyrinth of Nightmare. That's cool. That's a big one. Let's open up this pack. Let's see if we can even get a pull here. Like it's a huge W because like if he does grade that as a PSA 10, he will actually make his money back, which is the amazing part. So we've got an upside down card there. Let's see. Okay, let's flip it around. Let's see if that actually matters. All right, we have the Dark Door, Dream Sprite, Grave Robbers Retribution. Very cool. Gadget Soldier, a rust free machine. A rust-free machine warrior born to battle. I, I got confused there. We got a miracle dig. We got a lightning conger. I got a little bit, a uh, little bit confused. Fairy, uh, dancing fairy. We got a worm drake. I'm struggling. I'm just so amazed. That's a PSA 10 looking. If it gets a nine, I would probably try it again because that's a nice card. And we have a destruction punch. Okay, just a rare in the first one. It's just LON. No big deal. We got four big packs coming up. Even though this is the only uh, one of these five packs that will not be reprinted in the legendary collection anniversary 25th or whatever you call it. I said that in the wrong order. I'm talking like completely backwards like Yoda right now. We got Pharaoh's servant. Yeah, it's been, I mean, I didn't record a video yesterday. So, I mean, I did stream. So you would think that would help me learn how to talk, but maybe it's just today. I haven't, you know, had any practice yet. I, I don't know. Attack and receive. I, that's a real thing. You, it's the first time you record something, you're just jumbling everywhere. Attack and receive. Come on, Jackson. Let's pull something amazing. You already got the blue eyes. You got a bonus CED and a BLS. Burning land. Let's go. Dark fire soldier. Numero dos. 
the overdrive he's driving over that is such a that's so funny that's 1600 i mean i guess it does have a huge cannon on it i mean i guess you is that not really a cannon major riot we got wing weaver i always thought this was a cool looking card 2750 uh the eye of truth and we have gravity bind another rare okay starting it off over two a little slow but these are really hard to pull foils out of three packs left magic ruler metal raiders and blue eyes white dragon these are all really cool packs magic ruler this is the funny one because it's a 2003 10 but it's still magic ruler they, i think they had changed the name to spell on the card or something weird like that they've done some weird stuff in 2003 10s First of all, we have, yeah, spell card, but it's MRL for Magic Ruler. So it's completely messed up. Everything's just wonky. Magical Labyrinth, we have a Dark Zebra. Magical Labyrinth, for some reason, I thought was from LON. I don't know why. Red Archery Girl, a mermaid archer that hides in a perfective, protective shell, waiting for the right moment to strike. Not a perfective shell. Protective. We got Malevolent Nuzla. She's going to nuzzle. The Mechanical Snail. The Snail of Mechanics. Machine of Slots. There it is. You got to be careful with those. Guardian of the Throne Room. Okay, is it the next card? No, it's two away. The Labyrinth Wall, an iconic anime card. You could get trapped in the Labyrinth or that, uh, what is that guy called? The Reaper? No, not the Reaper of the cards. The, uh, the Wall Labyrinth might get you. And then finally, is it our first foil of the 10? Send you of the Thousand Hands, a classic card for relinquished in Duel Links. What? A Duel Links reference? Couldn't have been me. Oh, I almost forgot. Jackson sent me this, which is just completely disrespectful. So I will be throwing this away ASAP, but I wanted to mention that he sent me um, like extra trash for some reason. I don't know why. Uh, okay, two packs to go. We have a Metal Raiders pack and LOB. I think Metal Raiders is my favorite, but we'll do LOB last because it is the first set ever made. Metal Raiders, potential Pecanio Moth in here. Could be pretty epic, just saying. We have a Leg Hole, very nice. Well, I did pull a nice one with Jobber, but when I checked it later, it wasn't as nice as this one. It was like still like near mint, but this one's like mint, it looks great. Leg Hole, we got Ryukishin Powered. The Mystic Horseman. He's a man of the horse. Share the pain. Ancient Brain. Yeah, share the pain. We've got the... Where's Ancient Brain at? I don't know where he is. The Immortal of Thunder. Such a weird card. Yeah, flip. You gain 3,000 life points. After this card is flipped, you lose 5,000 life points when it's sent from the field of the graveyard. So if you can banish it or something, pretty cool. You can basically gain a free 3,000. Not that life points matter that much, but back in the day, they probably did. Mega Thunderball. Also cool. Bottom Dweller. The Dweller of the Bottom. We do not have Canyon Moth yet. Ancient Brain. It's because I did the pack trick. But I knew the pack trick, it might have worked out. Ancient Brain, no, it wouldn't have worked out. I don't think. Yeah, four from the, but yeah, it wouldn't have worked out. Ancient Brain, though, pretty cool. A fallen fairy that is powerful in the dark. He's only powerful in the dark. All right, here we go. Is this a foil from my favorite set? Mooka Mooka. All right, so maybe this is a clean promo, but a dud of the packs. But we'll have to see. Legend of Blue Eyes is where we want to pull something anyway. And the final pack for Jackson. We have not had the luck with the packs. We have had luck with the promo. Maybe this is where it... Uh, last time, remember, we started off really slow and ended really hot. So if we could do that again, it'd be big. And uh, yeah, as, as you guys know, these are all red banner logos, which means that the second iteration from 2003, 2003-10, the originals had the original Konami Lobo logo that they changed then. Not a Lobo like New Mexico, or is it New Mexico State? That's the Lobos. I can't remember. One, two, three, four. Here we go. Let's get a foil. Blue Eyes White Dragon to go with our Blue Eyes White Dragon and our Blue Eyes White Dragon 10. That would be awesome. And my R, I mean Jackson. We got Hard Armor. We got the Kumu Toko Forest. Cool. The Skull Servant. M Warrior Numero Dos. The Trial of Nightmare, formerly known as Trial of Hell. And it's been cleaned up a little bit. We got Dissolve Rock. Awesome. We got the Wasteland, and this looks like just a bunch of Dissolve Rock. And then this is the final card. It is. Is it our first foil? It's a magic card. Monster Reborn. And that's how you end it with an ultra rare Monster Reborn. And of course, with Jackson, we are going to end it with a great card. That's just how it goes. So first of all, Monster Reborn pull. Minty looking Blue Eyes White Dragon with centering and everything. And then, of course these bonus cards that I'm going to send to him. So Jackson, once again, shout out to you for an awesome opening. Make sure you guys let me know in the comments that we appreciate him. And if you guys enjoyed this video, make sure to subscribe to the channel for more epic content like this. Shout out to Tone Fo Show, Daxter, JT Cho, Puffins of Doom, Ernesto Deanna, Dizzy, Flexi Boy, Hoppus, Choice 323, Micycle, James Jance, TCG Trusted Cards, America Deutscher, Supreme Sage 21, Frankie Martinez, Nana Tai Show, Ian Moose, Junior Barding, Mimic Gecko, Shadowfall, and Thomas McLean. Thank you guys for supporting the channel, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.